Have you just pressed play? Yeah. Michael. Hiya everybody, sorry about that. Um, right, this page was a load of swine. This page was a load of wipe off uh, through other projects and what I'm doing is I'm just going over with them colours there. I'll show you which colours at the end of each step because I don't know which colours I'm going to use until I actually use them. Um, yeah, so basically I was just covering the whole of the page so it more or less had a complete thickness of paint across it. There I was putting matte medium in the stitches in the binding to stop the paint seeping through. Um, I went over with clear gesso and now I'll show you the paints that I use and inks that I use. <laughs> Am I boring you? Mm. It's just yawn, sorry. Um, after I've done, when I take the cling film off, the plastic wrap off, but basically I'm using acrylic paints and India ink and acrylic ink. Now it got to that sort of stage and I thought, not right successful-ish. I couldn't really see much in there. Well, a little bit because I can still see him in there, but anyway. I made sure it was thoroughly dry and then went in again with a lot of other colours and some of the same colours I think. Are they the colours that I just used? Yeah, they're the colours that I just used before when I put the plastic wrap on. Um, so these are going to be the colours that I'm using now and I'll show you them again at the end. Um, again. I think these are all inks, um, acrylic ink and India ink. I applied the same plastic wrap, so if there were any bits of colour left on the plastic wrap, which there always is, it might peel back off and leave a you know pretty pattern of different colour there. Um, if anybody needs to know the exact colours, just give me a shout. I've only got limited amount of them. I'll be able to recognise them. So. You know, if there's a colour there that you really like, just let me know. Um, right, these are, I think that's a normal pastel, um, chalk pastel pencil. And I'm picking out the horse. He was actually there, if you sort of pause it further back, you can see his eye and the arch at the top of his head and there's some swirls and whirls that come out and over onto this other page but it's a very difficult i had to hold it like this to be able to see it and for you to be able to see it on camera but if you tilt it different colors come out in different places there's so many layers on it it just it's beautiful anyway i'm using watered down i think this is acrylic ink and painting everything but the horse and its mane and painting the background staining the background um so technically it's a different color to my horse if you will um just in case my chalk lines disappear on me i just wanted a definite difference there and i think i did a little bit where it's really dark like where its mane's over the other side just in front of its face just a little line just to show that it was further back you know like a shadow line here i'm doing it with magenta india ink um making the purples but not all over here i'm doing it i think that's green india ink but I'll show them at the end of this, I think. And they are, I just did over where, where the main crosses over and you'd get a dark bit on the furthest away where the shadow would be. I'm just doing little bits like that where the colour's appropriate to do that with. Um, if this video's too fast for you, if you look back um, about three videos, is it? About three videos, there's a picture of a woman's face and it says easy to follow how to slow a video down if you follow them steps if you're on a pc 
um, computer, then it slows it down so you can, you know, watch it a lot slower. Right, this is the magenta again, and I'm just carrying on putting in the background, making the background darker, and following through with the colours. If you can see, I'm doing like a pink swave down. I'm not going all the way to the ends because there's green there and I don't want it to totally go over the green. So I'm working my way down in between its main, in and out. Sometimes if it's blue, then I go over it to make a purple colour. That green's not so bad with the magenta. It makes a, a nice turquoisey colour. Um, these are tinted charcoal by... Can you remember who they by? Derwent tinted charcoal it was the first time i think i'd used them and oh wow i love them um i'll show you what colors i use at the end um as i said i didn't know what I, it was a total experiment it's the first time i've ever done anything like this so i didn't know what colors i were going to use but what i've done is i've used sort of a light brown well the white light brown cream going to dark brown and blue and then on the background i'm smudging the charcoal outwards and setting the charcoal by smudging it with um, ink so it doesn't rub off but it colors the ink and it's watered down inks and you can see there it's, it's making it a lot darker um around the edges if it makes any sense i hope this is making sense is it making sense no no any questions seriously just ask me um basically i'm drawing around certain bits and then doing what i did before by coloring the sections but dragging the charcoal out into the section now I'm starting on the horse, um, doing it with sepia um, acrylic ink. That's the only colour I use on the horse for this, and obviously the charcoals. And it gives a lovely effect, and I definitely want to do this on a canvas. I've never done a canvas, never painted a canvas, but... I really want to do this on a canvas because I, I mean I've been busting my gut for how long for you to get this out <clears throat> when was it recorded May I've been dying for to show you but photographs got lost and things happen and it sort of got a bit forgotten about but that's that sepia ink again um, I think I'm just doing more of the same just Will you stop yawning? What is wrong with you? I think he's had a hard day at work. So I'm doing contours of its face. Um, same coloured ink, but lighter and darker charcoals, smudging them out into it just to make it shady. It, I can't explain it right, but it looks really, really good. And when you hold it up to the light, to daylight, depending on which way the light's hitting it it just changes it or you'll see in the pictures because the angle flashed it in different directions didn't you and um, well I, I just love it absolute mick you yawn one more time i want to smack you smack box all around as my dad would say um right you've totally thrown me now I don't know what to say just doing more at the same where it needs to be lighter um, smudging it with lighter where it needs to be darker going in with darker charcoal and smudging it out sorry about all the tilting uh, I think I did it straight after doing that one with butterflies that you just saw I think I can't remember but I know it's been quite some time I um, think I used an angle brush to get in there but it is remarkable how 
3D it looks. Um, some of it looks a bit like, well, I can't make up his mind whether it looks like it's made out of bronze or worn sandstone. I think it depends on light. There, I'm just trying to get the ink to flow down without me moving it too much. Without me smudging charcoal out any further. They're the tinted charcoals. That's the ink that I used. It's sepia and there's a blue, an off-white, a greyish colour and a tannish colour. Oh, we've got yellow and purple. Arty farty fairy. Nice time. Why did you pick them colours? You don't know. You don't know. Oh, right, yellow and purple there. Right, that's what influenced it. So, as you can see, I mean, it looks like proper yellowy gold, and but on other pictures it doesn't. It's just dependent on what light it's it. I love its eye. I think its eye looks brilliant. It's solid, but not solid. Strong, but sort of gentle. I don't know, it's... It's a weird effect, but I do like it. I've probably said that quite a few times, haven't I? But I do. I'm pleased with it. I'm really pleased with it. I'll stick one on my wall. Right. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, any questions, ask away. No problems. Um, sh are you being an elephant again? Share it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you can share it for me. That'd be much appreciated subscribe if you're not subscribed thanks to all my new subscribers um give it a thumbs up as i said last video only takes a second but it means a lot and it does a lot of good for my channel uh, if you like what i do share me about and i'll do more there's something for everybody i do all sorts of things not just painting um there's some other wacky stuff coming up soon hopefully it's been waiting for quite some time last easter rings a bell all right hope you're all well bye bye take care bye 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 bye